O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Come, Spirit, blessed with God the Son, and God the Father, ever one, shed forth your grace within our breast, and live in us a ready guest. By every power, by heart and tongue, by act and deed your praise be sung, in flame with perfect love he that other souls may kindle thence. Hear me, Lord, and come to rescue me. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice set me free. Hear me and speedily rescue me. Be a rock of refuge for me. A mighty stronghold to save me. For you, my rock, my stronghold, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Release me from the snares they've hidden. For you are my refuge, Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, Lord. O God of truth, you detest those who worship false and empty gods. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your love. You have seen my affliction and taken heed of my soul's distress. Have not handed me over to the enemy, but set my feet at large. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Hear me, Lord, and come to rescue me. Lord, let your face shine on your servant. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Tears have wasted my eyes, my throat and my heart, for my life is spent with sorrow and my ears with sighs. Affliction has broken down my strength, and my bones waste away. In the face of all my foes, I am a reproach, an object of scorn to my neighbours, and of fear to my friends. Those who see me in the street run far away from me. I am like a dead man forgotten, like a thing thrown away. 
I have heard the slander of the crowd. Fear is all around me. As they plot together against me, as they plan to take my life, but as for me, I trust in you, Lord. I say you are my God. My life is in your hands, deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. Let your face shine in your servant. Save me in your love. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Lord, let your face shine on your servant. Blessed be the Lord, who has shown me the wonders of his love. How great is the goodness, Lord! that you keep for those who fear you, that you show to those who trust you in the sight of men. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plotting of men. You keep them safe within your tent from disputing tongues. Blessed be the Lord who has shown me the wonders of his love in a fortified city. I am far removed from your sight, I said my alarm. Yet you heard the voice of my plea when I cried for help. Love the Lord, are you saints? He guards his faithful. But the Lord will repay to the full those who act with pride. Be strong, let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Blessed be the Lord, who has shown me the wonders of his love. Lead me in the way of your truth. And teach me, O Lord, you are the God who saves me. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to, to the people. He said, And now Israel, take notice of the laws and customs that I teach you today, and observe them, that you may have life, and may enter and take possession of the land, that the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. You must add nothing to what I command you, and take nothing from it, but keep the commandments of the Lord your God, just as I lay them down for you. You can see with your own eyes what the Lord has done at Baal Peor. All the followers of the Baal of Peor have been wiped out from among you by the Lord your God. But all of you who stayed faithful to the Lord your God are still alive today. See, as the Lord my God has commanded me, I teach you the laws and customs that you are to observe in the land, you are to enter and make your own. Keep them, observe them, and they will demonstrate to the peoples your wisdom and understanding. When they come to know of all these laws, they will exclaim, no other people is as wise and prudent as this great nation. And indeed, what great nation is there that has its God so near as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call to him? And what great nation is there that has laws and customs to match this whole law that I put before you today? Put this question then to the ages that are past that went before you from the time God created man on earth. 
Was there ever a word so majestic, from one end of heaven to the other? Was anything ever heard? Did ever a people hear the voice of the living God, speaking from the heart of the fire, as you heard it, and remain alive? Has any God ventured to take to himself one nation from the midst of another, by ordeals, signs, wonders, war, with mighty hand and outstretched arm, by fearsome terrors, all this that the Lord your God did for you before your eyes in Egypt. This he showed you, so that you might know that the Lord is God indeed, and that there is no other. He let you hear his voice out of heaven for your instruction. On earth he let you see his great fire, and from the heart of the fire you heard his word. Because he loved your fathers and chose their descendants after them, he brought you out from Egypt, openly showing his presence and his great power, driving out in front of you nations greater and more powerful than yourself, and brought you into their land to give it you for your heritage, as it, still, as it is still today. Understand this today, therefore, and take it to heart. The Lord is God indeed, in heaven above as on earth beneath, he and no other. Keep his laws and commandments as I give them to you today, so that you and your children may prosper and live long in the land that the Lord your God gives you forever. Hear, O Israel, the precepts of the Lord and write them in your hearts as in a book, and I will give you a land flowing with milk and honey. O my people, heed my warning, do but listen to me, O Israel, and I will give you a land flowing with milk and honey. A reading from the life of St. Anthony by St. Athanasius. After the death of his parents, Anthony was left alone with an only sister who was very young. He was about 18 or 20 years old and undertook the care of the household and his sister. Less than six months had passed after the death of his parents and he was going to the church, as was his custom, turning over in his mind the way that the apostles had led, left everything to follow the Saviour, and how those people in the Acts of the Apostles had sold their possessions and had laid the proceeds at the feet of the apostles for distribution among the needy. He was also thinking of the great hope stored up in heaven for these people. With these things in his mind, he went into the church. It happened that the gospel was then being read and he heard what the Lord had said to the rich man. If you would be perfect, go, sell what you possess, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. As though this reminder of the saints had been sent to him by God, and as though that passage had been read specially for his sake, Antony went out immediately and gave to the villagers the possessions he had inherited from his ancestors. They consisted of some 300 very pleasant and fertile acres, so that they would not be an encumbrance to him and to his sister. He sold all his possessions and gave the considerable sum he raised to the poor, keeping back only a little of it for his sister. Again, when he went into church, he heard what the Lord said in the Gospel, do not be anxious about tomorrow. He could not wait any longer, but went out and gave away even what he had kept back to the poor. He left his sister in the care of some well-known, trustworthy virgins, putting her in a convent to be brought up, and he devoted himself to the ascetic life, not far from his home, living in recollection and practising self-denial. 
He laboured with his own hands, for he had heard that, If any one will not work, let him not eat. And of what he earned, part he spent on food, and part he gave to the poor. He prayed frequently, for he had learned that one ought to pray in secret, and pray without ceasing. He was so careful in his reading of scripture that nothing escaped him, but he retained it all, so that afterwards his memory served him in place of books. And so all the people of the village and the good men with whom he associated saw what kind of man he was, and they called him the friend of God. Some loved him as a son, and others as though he were a brother. If you wish to be perfect, go and sell what you own, and give your money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. None of you can be my disciples, unless he gives up all his possessions. Then come, follow me. Let us pray. Lord God, you bestowed on Saint Anthony the grace of serving you in the wilderness by a strange and wonderful way of life. Grant that through his intercession we may deny ourselves and love you above all things. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God.